in central Mexico, in the semi-desert region of the state of Querétaro, within the municipalities of Tolimán, Cadereyta de Montes, Colón, and Ezequiel Montes, there is a group of Otomi or Ñoño native-speaking communities that recognize themselves as descendants from the Chichimec tribes that occupied a great expanse of the northern central territory of ancient Mexico. In this wild land, the Otomi Chichimec communities have adapted and have managed to survive throughout centuries in a sacred territory they assume as a legacy of their ancestors. Scarce rainfall has reduced the development of agricultural activities to the margins of streams, whose generous vegetation and the abundance of majestic Montezuma bald cypress trees contrast with the semi-desert and dry environment of the surrounding plains and connected hills. This is a region with great biological diversity, where centenary plants such as the giant columnar organ cacti, the barrel cacti and the star cacti dominate the horizon, intermingling with mesquite trees, white thorn acacias, agaves and prickly pear cacti, delicate flowers such as the onion leaf daffodil and the Saint Lucia herb, as well as an endless number of the region's fauna species such as the cacomissel, the squirrel or the gopher snake. Because the human groups that dwell in this territory are well acquainted with their natural surrounding, by means of recollection, since ancient times, they have been able to obtain foods, medicines and other products useful for life, establishing a respectful and profound relationship with their environment. Before the Spaniards arrived, this was a frontier zone in which semi-nomad hunters-gatherers that the Nahuas generically called Chichimex interacted with Mesoamerican agricultural peoples with whom they exchanged goods and fought for territories. Since the 16th century, this region was linked to the colonization processes that Otomi groups carried out with the Spanish Crown's endorsement. The Chichimec resisted the Spaniards and Otomi Indians ferociously. Many of them were exterminated, but a few groups agreed to congregate and finally mix with the colonizing Otomi Indians and adopted their tongue. Thus, this cultural landscape is an expression of the fusion between the Chichimec historic component, the Otomi language and culture, and the influence of Catholicism imposed by the Spaniards. The Otomi Chichimec communities of the semi-desert region have built their territory symbolically. To the south, the imposing boulder of Bernal, an unmistakable landmark of the landscape, the gateway and guardian of the Otomi Chichimec world that marks the beginning and end of all times. To the west, the Samorano pine grove that provides with water and life where the souls of the Mecos or grandparents reside, and to the east, the Fronton Hill, where the Divine Savior appeared. Year after year, the settlers undertake a pilgrimage to these hills with their miraculous crosses to pray for water, divine protection, and to venerate the Mecos, their Chichimec ancestors, and the Shita, as they call their Otomi forebears. Shitata, their grandparents, father, an ancient solar deity, has merged with the Holy Cross in a reverence cult with three central elements, the water, the hill, and the cross. <laughs> The Otomi Chichimec people also have sacred places created with their own hands, the family chapels, in such way that in this cultural territory we can still find 258 of such chapels 
most of which were built in the 18th century. These unique stonework and vaulted ceiling oratories are a testimony of the presence of the Otomi people in central Mexico since the colonial era to present days. The domestic chapels make the encounter between the living and the dead possible and safeguard the family lineage, the cornerstone of communal organization. The family oratories have two constituent elements. An outside area formed by a small atrium in which we find one or many small niches known as calvaries or justices. The cross of the calvary represents the founder of the descent. The crosses of the ancestors or shita, also known as before time grandparents, are placed within the niche and an inside space that corresponds to the chapel itself, invariably presided by an altar, in which different religious images and boy crosses are placed. <laughs> The Otomi Chichimec people maintain a centennial tradition alive, expressed in their annual ritual cycle, where water is considered a fundamental element for life and survival. In this calendar, two types of rituals stand out. On the one hand, pilgrimages that demark the external boundaries of the territory in a demonstration that surpasses the limits of the community towards the mythical hills, Samorano, Fronton, and the boulder of Bernal, where they implore for water from the sky. <laughs> On the other hand, communal festivities in which people gather in a convergent movement towards the communities inside. Among such festivities, we can emphasize that of the Holy Week that is celebrated in all of the communities and is particularly intense in San Antonio de la Cal. There are also patron saints festivities in all the region's towns and villages. Celebrations of the Days of the Dead, the Virgin of Guadalupe and Baby Jesus, and the Divine Savior's festivity on December 31st. One of the main community celebrations that exemplifies the richness of their intangible heritage is that of St. Michael in late September when the raining season has come to an end. In this festivity, the region's biggest offering is raised, the almost 76 feet high Chimal that stands out majestically as a tribute to abundance, as an emblem of the Chichimec resistance, and as a sign of vitality and ownership. <laughs> de conservaje más fiesta je no ah con nube y soga aquí je machita madada manono gato entonces este de niño que castigue je anja puede un tema con sí para para da calla da cara su si si fiesta Today the Ñoño communities of the semi desert are determined to preserve and defend before the world, their cultural values, their language, their territory, and their natural richness. Because it is a valuable heritage that the people of Querétaro, the Mexican nation, and the whole world should recognize, respect, and safeguard as part of the humanity's diversity and memory.